Dorian? How are you? Carlotta told me you'd be here. I'm so glad you came to play. And you will be glad for long. What? You did set me up. Just to hurt my mother. Joe, that's not true. You know, my dad, Kevin, David, they all tried to warn me. But would I listen? No. Not until it was too late. But I know the truth now, don't I? Everything my mother said about you is true. Everything. Joe, I would never, ever use you for any reason. Yeah, right. Look, no matter what your mother or anybody else has said, I care about you too much for that. You know that, Joe. You must know how I feel about you. Yeah. The way you feel about my father? When you set him up to walk in on my mom and Sloan Carpenter at that ski resort? Vendetta, Dorian. All you cared about was getting your revenge, so you used me to hurt my mother. That it was really great fun, wasn't it? Knowing you were ruining her wedding day. That must have made it real special. Joe, please, just hear me out. Why? Because I don't know why this has happened. Why something so beautiful would turn out so badly. I mean, you said that you wanted to let your mother know that you were going to be a little late and that she shouldn't hold the wedding for you. You were in a hurry. You jumped in the shower. And so I thought that I would call and let her know that you were on your way. That was all that I intended to do. I had no idea that she would leap to conclusions, come barging into my house, straight into my bedroom. But you'll remember, you, you said that you wanted to tell the whole world about our relationship. And I said, maybe someday. And Anyway, then I, I realized that this was not a very good time for her to deal with the reality of our relationship and so I tried to call her back but it was too late yeah it was too late but you've had your fun you hurt my mom played me for the fool and I was stupid enough to give you the chance forget it Dorian no more lies it's over You've got to call him. You've got to tell him that you want to talk to him. Me? Yeah. Talk to him? Absolutely. Tell him that you want to talk about me. That's all you have to do. Tell him that you want to talk about how I'm really feeling. You've got to convince him to meet with you. Dorian, I don't even know if I can get him to talk to me. I don't know him that well. He doesn't know me. And what he does know, well, it isn't that nice. Now, come on. Tell me, what happened? Did, did Vicky convince him that you were using him? Just convince him to meet with you. If you call him, he'll realize that I'm uh, not doing all that well. Just call him, okay? I've got to make him understand. I just got to. Oh, I love the snow. Joey Buchanan. Blair Daimler. Listen, I really need to talk to you. It's about my Aunt Dorian. Well, uh... Joey, are, are, are you still there? Yeah. I'm still here. It's just I don't want to talk to you or anybody else about Dorian. Uh, no, no, no. Please, don't hang up, Joey. Look, I look. I know that you don't know me all that well, but I am worried about my aunt, and I do love her. Well, I'm not even seeing her anymore, so... Joey, please... I'd like to talk to you just for a few minutes. It's about what she's going through. Like I said, she's she's kind of in a bad way. And I thought if I could just swing by in my car and pick you up just a few minutes, I could say everything that, I, that I've got. 
office day, and then I'd have you back home right away. So that's not too much to ask, is it? I mean, I I just feel so uncomfortable talking to you about these things on the phone, you know. Joey. Look, it's not going to make any difference, all right? Not after what she did to my mother. Okay, well, uh, maybe not, but would it be all right if I just came by, picked you up in my car, just say, say, in, in ten minutes? All right, I'll watch for a car. Blair, I just think you wanted to talk. I wasn't expecting the windows. Hello, Joe. Dorian. I need to talk to you. <laughs> 